the big show on Hauraki. Cheers, Tui, for bringing back the laughs in a world gone mad. Yeah, right. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hauraki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Well, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Wednesday afternoon, the 30th of October 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show. Brought to you by Tilly. Get it! Get it! Yeah! 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 G'day, Mogi, you stallion. Uh, looking great as always, mate. How's life? Oh, going pretty grousely, you mad dog. You sick son of a bee. You're, uh, <laughs> you weird bastard, if I could put it that way. And uh, I've known you for nigh on 37 years now. Of course, we met in primary school uh, all those years ago in the hocker ticker. Yeah, man. And uh, as time's gone on, you, you know, you, you become more and more of an enigma to me, more and more of a mystery, and, uh, sure. and that's what I like in my men, I've got to be honest with you. A freezing cold day here in the 09, uh, you'd expect at this time of year things turn to summer, you'd be wrong. Yeah. You'd be wrong. Sure, sure. When you're thinking about me, though, I mean, you, you're thinking like, bad boy? Oh, yeah. So, you see, I always ran that sort of... Image when I was a young buck, you would have been about five. You know, because all the met. ladies go, oh, "He's a bad boy." I've got, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I've got to make him right. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Jeez, those were the days. I tell you what, uh, Pug son. Hey, you're running the uh, corgi ass uh, here too today. Ass end of a corgi. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Looking yeah. good, dog. mate. Thanks, Shaggy man. dog. I, but seriously, mm. looks good, man. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, happy to you be here with you, fellas. Put some product in there, man. Just a little bit, man. What are you putting in there, brother? Because it's just a real, you know, just woke up. Rolled out of bed, um, oh. couldn't care less sort of a look to it. Yeah, well, that's what, what it says what? sort of on the front of the container. It's is couldn't it a, care less. But is it a moose? Is it a, what is it? I'd say it's close to the consistency of a moose. A yeah, moose. maybe a little harder. It's sort of a matte look. Oh, uh, matte a matte finish. Look. There yeah, we go. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you. Thank I, you. I yeah, yeah. use a wax. Okay. Right. Um, which, we can tell. Which I don't really like very much because it's very glutinous and very sticky, Mogi. Yeah. And it's, it's, not, it's very thick. You're talking about on your bullos. Yeah, it's very thick. And so I have to sort of spread it around my hands, and it's very hard to not clump in my hair. Yes, yes. And your bolos. And sometimes it looks like someone's evacuated the contents of their nostrils in my hair. Sure. Because it's got that sort of bits of wax and stuff in Mm. there. Hey, now listen, uh, we have a massive show ahead, fellas. Yes. Good God, where do we begin? Where do we begin? I tell you where we begin, a bit of the old Foo Fighters. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Green day there on the radio. Hauraki uh, Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. Hope it's treating you well, you Wednesday. Just on that front, uh, full disclosure to the audience, actually. We just got delivered some free food. I won't say what the food was, Mogi. No. Just, just say chicken in nugget form. <laughs> um, and it was a big bag of it. An old hoity J was a bit peckish. Yeah. And I hoed in big time. And now I'm feeling decidedly nauseous. Right. Ah. Uh, because I, I just went too hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just gorged myself. You can have too much for a good thing, Hoity J. You can. You can. Speaking of good things. But can I also say it sort of slowed us down somewhat, <laughs> hasn't it? Yeah. We're sort of in a, uh, a bit of a, uh, a coma. coma. A, a chicken and nugget form co- coma. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Very much a food coma. Hey, but right now it's time for... The Big Pole. do and the question today, oh. trick-or-treating, yes or no? Trick-or-treating, yes or no? Dang it, dang it. Here we are, aren't we, Hoity Joe? We're on the eve of Halloween. Yes. Uh, an American holiday. Um, one that's been trying to get its claws into New Zealand culture for who, 45 years yes. or so. Um, I remember being a kid. And as a kid, of course, you want you want Halloween is a great idea. Absolutely, uh, there's a hundred percent support from kids um, right across the world for a holiday like this, which is you get dressed up, you go and knock on someone's door, they Strangers. give you lollies. Yes, yes. <laughs> That was a chicken and nugget form, man. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But uh, I remember going to my next door neighbours when I was about six or seven, and I had a um, an ape mask that I was wearing. I knocked on her door. I said, "Trick or treat." She didn't know what I was talking about. Mrs. McGill there. Yes. Um, she was probably in her eighties, and she said, "Come back when you when I know what you're talking about." <laughs> and so, um, so we broke into her house and we stole about forty bucks. Yes, yeah. sweet. Um, so it was a good trick. Yes. It was a good trick that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But as you get older and you become a parent and your kids want to go trick or treating. Yeah. Pain in the bullets. In the bullets. Well, I'll be honest with you, Mogi. I can't actually ever remember as a kid having going trick or treating or even having Halloween. Mm. Um, but certainly, when my girls were growing up, it was a big thing in my household, and I just hate it. I just refused to do it, and so my wife would always have to do it. And she's she's one of those people too that's really big on costumes for right. the, when the girls mm. were little. So she'd spend hours making these amazing costumes and stuff. And I just hate it. Um, and so she would always have to be the one that would accompany them to strangers' houses, getting sweets off strangers. Yeah. Um, and I was just never into it. I'm still not into it. And I don't like people coming to my house and knocking on my door. So what I do <laughs> is I leave my dog outside. Yeah. And Rue is ferocious. Like, if you were to walk up to my gate, she would scare the living bejesus out of you because she's got a hell of a bark on her. So I just leave her out, and that seems to sort of send the kids away. Also, I have an advantage where people find it very hard to find the path to my house. Right. It's quite well hidden. Yes. And so often you'll get people walking past my house trying to get to my house going, where do you – How do you – How do you get in there? And I don't encourage that either. Yeah. Um, and if a kid does actually get – get through, I just scream at them. Mm. Get off my property, you sons of bees! Yeah. But I'm curious because I know, and then you've got the people around the neighbourhood that cover their houses in Halloween type stuff and blow up dolls and witches and I just go, oh, blow up that, dolls. that's just going to turn into a wet me- environmental mess. Sure. You know what I mean? But I'm curious to know mm. what the punters feel about it, uh, whether New Zealand has fully adopted it on 3483, or go to our Instagram account and let us know your views there. Two e prize packs to give away as well to everybody who votes. Also, send us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app, little microphone button there. Or give us a call. Yeah. On 0800 Hodaki. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. You missed the Big Show Big Poll today. It was trick-or-treating, yay or nay. Uh, Hoodie J affirm nay. Mogi, um, now that you've got a kid, a nay? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sort of wondering whether I should just embrace it. I was, talk- I was literally talking to the wife about it today. It's like Because my vibe is, is also a no. Uh, because it's just another way to feed them up on lollies. Yes. And I just like, like my my daughter's dentist last week said, no more lollies. No more lollies for you. And my daughter laughed and the dentist said, I'm not joking. Oh. So then you get Halloween comes on and my kid is fizzing, man. Like, yes. let's go. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and totally. And she was actually, and I, this is without a word of a lie, she was actually in tears this morning because she found out that you actually still have to go to school on Halloween. Right, She's five yes. years old. And she oh. said, what? I still have to learn on Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> and so she's fizzing about it. So I think what we're going to do is go around to six neighbours. I'm going to go around and see them tonight or tomorrow and say to them and, and supply them with Something the, to the give things her. to give her. Um, because you can't just keep on jacking them up on that. That, yeah, that shit. But then at the same time, and like, ah, man, ah, let them have fun. Da, 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 da. It's like, but Christ, they have more fun than they have anything else. But yeah. the way Every you're doing that fun. with your daughter is really like a responsible way to do it. Like you're saying, all right, we'll make it really easy for you. She gets to get what she wants, but also it's not like a random, and it's also not random candy. We can we're controlling it yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my my girls were the same. That they, they get so fizzed <clears> up about it. They yeah. get so fizzed up about it. And the, and the idea that they can't do it is just beyond the pale for them. And it was just like else meltdown is, territory. All the other kids at school are doing it. Like we turned up at school today and a, a, a little girl came up to my daughter and said, do you know it's Halloween tomorrow? <laughs> and so they're just, you know, they're fizzing. Mm. Ready to go. Yeah. Um, what are they saying on the textual machine there? Um, the what? Pugsan, 3483. The what machine? 
What are they saying on the text machine there, Pugsan? Grew up being told of stranger danger and don't take sweets from people you don't know. But once a year, it's now okay to go to a random stranger's house and ask for sweets. I don't yeah. think so. Well, this is a good one here that's just come in. Glad Mogi ain't my dad, wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is and this is the thing though, right? It's like. My daughter's teeth are bad from eating shit food, and because she's got her first teeth, they're a bit more vulnerable. She brushes every morning, every night. The dentist has said she's got to stop eating lollies because they are putting holes in her teeth. Yes. So I say, okay, you can't have lollies, and now I'm a wanker. Yeah, big because wanker I'm, vibes. Because I'm a bad father for not feeding my kid up on lollies. Yeah, you're a shocker, man. <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Someone asking the question, where's Keezy? He's on holiday. He's on holiday. Um, I saw him today, actually. Oh. Did you? I did. What was he, he was doing? He was on holiday, but he was just sort of wandering around. Sort of lost. Aimlessly. Well, I mean, he looked pretty happy. Yeah. I mean, he was hammered. Oh, oh right. yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this I mean, was about midday. That's that's a given, isn't you it? You know, he's just sort of wandering around with a few beers and that. And, yeah. But good on him. Yeah, hey, however you want to spend your holiday... Who, what am I, who am I to say? Exactly. You know what I mean? Fill your boots. Yeah. I was meant to be playing golf uh, with him tomorrow, but he cancelled ah. on me. Son oh, yeah, of a yeah. Bee. He was telling me about that. He oh. said because he's going to be steamed tomorrow as well. Well, I mean, he was steamed when I played with him last time. What yeah, difference yeah, is yeah. that? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that shouldn't, you know, it's stop him from doing it. There. He's actually, I'd be curious to see what he'd be like when he wasn't steamed. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Very high functioning when steamed is Keezy. Yeah. Well. No? I mean. I mean, he's doing the radio. He's pressing your radio buttons for you. Yeah. Hey, now listen. Um, <laughs> cool. The Manu World Champs is back, fellas. Yeah, it is. Uh, tell us all about it. already? Yeah, I, yeah. I couldn't believe I was stunned. Stunned when I saw that in the dock. Very stunned. <laughs> Yeah, the sun's uh, coming back out, fellas, and that means it's Manu season, baby. Uh, you can actually register at manuworldchamps.com from this Friday, and uh, there's 10 qualifying events across Aotearoa. Oh, yeah. You might remember those from last yes. year. Uh, kicking off with the first one in Tauranga on the 7th of December. So you've got a bit of time to practice uh, your Manu there, Jace. Yeah, good stuff. Well, actually, I recall, uh, what happened last time? Because you were going to jump off. And the highest I, thing, and then something you and then you, I was away. You got your mm. bolos burnt or something? Was yeah, that what it was happened? Something along those lines. I, yeah. I'm not sure it was the uh, that was the reason, but ultimately I couldn't do two things. I was I had something else booked. Mm. I wonder what that would have been. Are you going to do it this year, Mogi? Uh, well, I haven't had any chats about it. If it's not starting till December, then probably not because I'll be away. Oh yes, you are all of all of December, aren't you? Yeah, you mate. could do something at the grand final though in Tarmac Makoto on Saturday, the first of March. There is forty grand in cash and prizes to be won. So the this is this money world champs. Mm, mm. This goes for four months of the year. So it's sort of like a super <laughs> rugby season or the NRL. Yes, something like that. Four yeah. months, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. the round robin, the semis, yeah. the finals. Yeah, yeah, nice. Wow. Get involved if you want to win. Heaps of cash. 40 Shit. grand in cash prizes to be won. Bragging rights too, Jess. Yeah, man. Oh, you get bragging rights. Forgot yeah, about that. I might rights. do it this year, actually. Oh, yeah. I do a mean money. <laughs> sure. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. You're yeah, welcome back, you massive backbones. You are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by Tui. Get in ya. Get in ya. Get in ya. Just on that, by the way, no Keezy at the moment. He's got the week off. Uh, he's going to be returning forthwith next Monday. Now, there's something I want to mention, um, and I'm not being silly. Oh. But it's something that I've noticed... Quite a lot over the last couple of days, mm. and I don't know if you if you've noticed this either, pugs. Um, this seems to me okay. to be a number of women that have the absolute hots for old Mogi. Oh yeah, because I have noticed two or three women yeah. walk past our studio many many times, and to paint a picture, our studio is glass, and the public just walks around it. Who give Mogi the elongated mm. long stare, i.e., look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You're oblivious, Mogi, because you're <laughs> blind in that eye. Um, and often they're walking behind you. Right. But the big stare. Right. Um, I don't. 
Have you noticed anything like that? Are I you aware of I the fact I certainly haven't. Right, okay. I certainly haven't. And, of course, I'm a married man. Oh, I, I know that, and uh, I, I didn't want to su- suggest any impropriety on your behalf, but I have definitely noticed, maybe it's summer, maybe, that, you know, people are just sort of feeling good, and they see an old Mogi there and his tidy whitey and yeah. going, hello, Siree Bob. Have you noticed that, Pakistan? I mean, I feel like it's not a new thing. Oh, okay. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's been yeah. a long while since anyone's tried to hold old Hoity J's gaze. Gays, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm, I've got the eyes out, man. Well, you're often pressed up against the glass, Hoity <laughs> J. <laughs> yeah, so that might sort of freak people out or put people well, off. Well, no, but... I wasn't aware of that at all, but it's flattering, isn't it? It's yes. nice to know. But, you know, I mean, uh, best of a pretty bad bunch. Can I say that? Sure. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I mean, you know, having said that, oh, Pugsan's doing okay. Hey, you know oh, what I mean? Thanks, Jace. Look, I, I say that in jest because yes. uh, obviously Pugsan's got a few years on us, Hoity J. Uh, I'm still got a bit of lead in the old pipe there. and uh, <laughs> he sure has. To putting it to use. Hang on a minute. Hey? Hey, huh? next up, we're going to be speaking to Brendan Murray, who had a flesh-eating um, infection on his scrotum. Yeah, and his perineum. And his perineum. <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Uh, very special guest on the show with us today, uh, uh, a fellow by the name of Brendan Murray Mogi, yep. who went through, well, what can only be described as a bit of an horrific experience. Um, and he's been a real backbone about it, actually, uh, and he's he's being pretty upfront about what happened to yep. him. Uh, we've got Brendan on the phone now. G'day, Brendan, your massive backbone. How's life? Oh, hey, it's um, a lot better now than what it was um, 45 days ago. Anyway, let's put it that way. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, Brennan, just for, for the listeners out there, mate, talk us through what actually happened with you. Yeah, so, um, like, I'm a, I'm a type 2 diabetic, but um, and I probably probably don't look after myself as well as what I probably should. But um, I just got a wee bit of chafing between my legs one day, like just a ingrown hair, a wee bit of chafing. Didn't think much of it because... Had it, you know, hundred times before. Normally goes away after a couple of days. Um, so after a couple of days, it was still there. Had a wee lump about the size of a marble, sort of thing. And I, oh yeah, and I'll give it a squeeze and a bit of a poke and a, oh, you know, like, as you yeah, do, man. You know, like just as you do, jump the share, get it hot. Yeah, got a wee bit, of, got a wee bit of pass out of it. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> all of a sudden, the next day, it was a wee bit bigger. I was like, shit, she's escalated pretty fast. So she's about the size of a squash ball now. Wow. And um, so did the same thing again, you know, jumped in the share. Yeah, no, 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 it'd, be all, it'd be all good. Well, by about the third day, I was going to drive to Omaru. My son was um, playing rugby for Southland um, under 18. So I thought, oh, I'll shoot up there. It's a three hour drive from where I live. Jumped in the uh, work truck. Got about 10 minutes up the road and went, oh, no, hold on, got to go home. This is no good at all. Hey? I can't even sit in the truck. Um, got home, parked up on the couch. Typical. Typical old school mean sort of thing, you know, it'll be right, it'll be right. Um, waited until my wife got home, explained to her a bit more about what was going on, and I said, I'll have a hot bath and just give it another squeeze, get some more stuff out of it. By Monday, we'll be all good. So this was a sad day. This was a sad day night. So about 7 o'clock Saturday night, I'd done what I'd said I was going to do, and um, the old wife said, oh, you're not looking that good. I think you need to go to the hospital. I was like, nah, nah, it'll be right. By Monday, you know, it should be all good. Tomorrow's another day. And um, another half hour went past. She said, no, nah, you're, you're going to the hospital. Like, you're you're going downhill real fast. So we went, went, to the local, went to the local A&E, and he, um, he got me up on the bed straight away, gave me some pain relief, and um, cut this wee lump open and got a fair bit of stuff out of it. She said, oh... You know, I'm not really happy. Um, we might keep you in overnight. You're not looking that good. And I just had to say to him, well, look, the side of my scrotum is rock hard, eh? Like, and I said, it could be just the inflammatory from what's going on. And um, he sort of agreed with me, but the next morning she wasn't that good at all. Right. And so we're talking about your sort of scrotum area and the perineum and sort of around there. Uh, yep. So obviously it was a massive infection. It turns out that it was actually a flesh-eating infection. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So um, so on the Sunday morning, they um, 
they decided to send me to the Q Hospital in Invercargill, which is um, a 40-minute drive from Gore. So they banged me in an ambulance and um, sent me away down to Q Hospital. And I was only there about half an hour. And next thing they said, no, we'll put you on the operating table like you've got a flesh eating disorder. Oh, God. To me, I was like, yeah, to me, I was like, well, hold on. Whoa, 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 I had an ingrown here. You know, like, what, what the hell's going on? Um, 21 days later, I was still in ICU and it had uh, nine operations in 19 days. Far out. Um, was missing my scrotum, was missing a um, bit of muscle in between my legs. Um, you were yeah, missing it or, or they took it off? Well, they'd actually taken it off, like, yeah. Like, yeah. it was just... Um, like it started off, they the first the first day they opened me up from pretty much my backside right through my groin up to the top of my jock line. Yeah, holy um, me. Yeah, and left it open like they packed it full of gauze, left it open, and they'd taken they'd taken a wee chunk off the side of my scrotum about the size of a fifty cent coin. Yeah, and um, and they they didn't really understand it at the, at the first couple of days of exactly what it was like they were still trying to work out obviously what it was and everything else and um second operation they took another chunk of me scrotum and and they were still cleaning out all the these um so just sort of chip, just sort of right. chipping away at the bastard were they <laughs> yeah yeah like and um boy about um i think i've been in there about seven days by then they um pretty much had it under control but I was still going into the operating theatre every day, if not every second day, to have the wounds cleaned and redressed. And um, and then I had a bit of difficulty. I um, I actually stopped breathing when I came out to recovery. And oh, yeah, things, look, Brenda, Brenda yeah, we'll just stop just, you. We'll just stop you there, man. Uh, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna go to a song. I want to come back and hear more about this? But all this chat is making me bloody hungry. I've got to go and grab a pie. <laughs> Uh, if you can stick around yeah. there for a couple of minutes, man, we'll come back and get the rest of the yarn. Yep, sweet ears. The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Now, uh, previous to that, we've been speaking to Brendan Murray, who's had a bit of a horror show. Uh, got an infection around his scrotum and sort of perineum area um, and thought it was an ingrowing here. It got worse over the days. He ended up going to A&E and the guy at A&E basically said, geez, mate, Brendan, mate, not happy about that. Let's send you to the hospital. And then I believe, Brendan, you are 13 days in the ICU, seven operations. They cut you from sort of navel to, to butt. Uh, they were packing you full of gauze. You'd had your scrotum hacked away at there. Uh, so what happened then? Oh, yeah, it was so it was just um, after all the operations and queue and everything, transferred through Dunedin for a skin graft, which um, they've had to do to help with my healing. Um, and now I'm home recovering, but they've just informed me today after I've just been seeing the doctor again that it'll be months of recovery. Um, wow. Yeah, like, I, my healing is going really well and the wound is looking really good, but, um, but yeah, the doctor did tell me today that it will be months. Um, they, can't put a, they can't put a time frame on it, which is really good, but... I'm doing as I'm told, which is a first. <laughs> I bet you are, man. And the thing about it is you can sort of recover from this. Um, Jace, um, Jace here, who hosts the uh, the radio show with me, he um, he suffered from a uh, botched circumcision when he was a young fella. It's an absolute debacle <laughs> down there. And, uh, uh, you know, he's managed to, to lead a fairly normal life, man. Yep, yep. So I'll... Uh I'll lead a perfectly normal life from now on in too. Um, like I've still got, I've still got the um, the testicles. And the oh, nice. that that, now works. that was my next question, mate. So you've still got the bullors. The yep, bullors are still just, there. They're just sort of tucked away for a uh, rainy day. Is that about it? Yeah. Yep. So they're just, um, you know, like when you're a teenage boy, they always give you a bit of grief about how your balls are dropped. Well, yep. mine have just gone back up. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. And yeah. what's the guts? Can they, can they sort of design you a uh, a brand new ball bag there, um, sort of made out of some skin that you might gather from other areas? Like, have you got any sort of spare skin around? Certainly, I think the ideal would be if, if you could get sort of a, um, maybe you can get a donor scrotum from somebody who's recently passed away. Is there any options like that on the table? Well, um, 
I don't know about that, but I've had a couple of mates offer, like, I had one the other day, um, he sent his dog to the vet to get fixed and offered to give me the dog spray. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, like, it's, um, it, I'm, I'm going to be copping it for probably the rest of my life, really. Um, and lucky enough, I've got a good sense of humour, and um, and I'm prepared to take it. I've got thick skin, eh? Like, yeah, um, yeah, nice. Well, you were saying... And, and that, I was gonna... Having thick skin, this is why I... Um, I'm a big advocate now, eh? Like, if, you're, if you've got something wrong, go and get yourself checked out, eh? Yeah, totally, mate. Well, it, totally. Sounds like, it sounds like you dealt with it relatively quickly, man, but probably the bigger lesson, and I think a lot of dudes are like this, is if you find yourself a little pussy bastard somewhere, don't get your filthy bloody fingernails all over it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, that, and that's the thing, you know, like, um, we are our own worst enemy. We always say, oh, we'll tough it out, we'll be right, you yeah. know, but... Um, if something's not right, and and you do know when something's not right, you know, like I um I knew I knew all along with it. I, I wasn't doing that well, but you know, I, no, I'll tough it out. I didn't want to, I didn't want my kids to see that Dad was a wimp or a sook. Mm. So, well, you, know, you, like, you sort of hope you can sleep it off, man. And 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 you know, simple simple fact is sometimes you can't sleep it off, and they got to they got to lop your scrotum off. Yeah, 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 and I mean, at the end of the day, I'm I'm lucky that that's um, that's the only thing I am missing. Hey. Like, um, totally, man. Yeah. So to, to be honest, I'm lucky to be bloody alive. Like it, um, it could have killed me a couple of times, and um, and I fought, and I decided that I'd beat the bugger, and I have um, so far. And touch wood, I'm going to fully beat it and be fully healed. But yeah, as I say, anyone like. Just man up and go and, go and get it checked. Eh? That's, that's what these house professionals do for a job. Like, that's what they train for. Yeah, man. I bet they didn't train for that. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Brendan. Um, um, I, think, I, think I, I think I've become a case study for a few people. Yeah, I can imagine, mate. What were you going to say, Pugs? Oh, no, I just I was going to ask, Brendan, obviously, um, you know, you've done the backbone thing here and gone and got yourself checked and sorted out. Uh, I imagine it's already pretty confronting going in there with everything they were doing to you, uh, but particularly as a bloke going into the hospital and then get letting getting told that they're going to get in amongst your intimate parts there. Was that was there one moment that was pretty confronting about it or quite scary? Um, well, like at the end of the day, I, I knew I wasn't right down there and mm. like, I'm a I'm a volunteer fireman, like I'm the local fire chief, and and at the end of the day, when you're sick, you you don't really care. And and I, I left my dignity at the door of the hospital. Like um, yeah. I I did joke the other day, like I've had that many females between uh, my legs and looking at my groin in the last 45 days. <laughs> It's unreal, but unfortunately, <laughs> they're not they're not there looking at what I would normally let them look at. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, like like my wife even said the other day, shit, you had seven in there at one time. Like most males would be going, yeah, you beauty, you lucky <laughs> bastard, you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you what, yeah. Brendan, um, good on you, mate, and and best of luck for your recovery, and uh, you enjoy that uh, that nice cold beer when you can finally have one, mate. Oh, I will be, I will be, well and truly, so. Hey, no, and just yeah, just make sure that message gets out there. Eh? Like if you're not right, go and get yourself checked out. Bloody Good oats, you, mate. Good on you, Brandon. Thanks, Thanks for mate. your time, mate. The Horaki Big Show podcast. Now, as I look outside and see the glorious sunshine, I think to myself, you know, uh, we're getting into the season of golf. Oh, Modi, yes. and uh, as you as you know, I've just started playing again. I played two games. And I'm, to be honest with you, I'm itching at the bit to get back into it. Yeah, what's uh, stopping you? Uh, well, I've, I've got to wait for Keezy to get back. Can you not play by yourself? Well, it just feels a bit weird playing by myself. Have you got oh, yeah. no other mates that play golf? Oh, I do, but I yeah, I don't know. But you're itching. But I'm itching. <laughs> I'm itching to get into it. I might just go down to a field and whack some balls. But now, listen, with that in mind, actually, the big show has created a new club called the Swingers Club. Uh, and, and our dream is to travel all around this great country of ours playing all the great golf courses. And we want you good bastards yeah. out there to join us. And when I say us, I mean me, Keezy, Mogi, and Pugsan. Uh, and come and have a round of golf with us. Now, we've got our first one sorted out, Murawai uh, Golf Course, yeah. uh, which is going to be great. We provide carts. If you don't have clubs and stuff, we can get all that sorted. Also beverages, also food. We're going to do a, our show at the end of uh, the game there. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of that, 
Pakistan. What do they do? And get amongst it as well, because if this one goes really well, the more we can do around the country. Uh, people just need to go to hodaki.co.nz. Uh, and after that as well, we'll be doing a live show from just wherever we just end up wherever. at the golf course. Yeah, yeah. Just wherever the 19th up. hole. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. In the water there. So it's going to be great. Yeah. And also, just on that, by the way, if you've got any suggestions, you've got a golf course that you think we'd love to play, uh, get in touch with us about that and we can see if we can organise a bit of a group wherever it is in the country. 3483 for that. Beautiful. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. Hey, um, we had some people over on the weekend, as I've already mentioned. And, uh, of course, when you have people over, you've got to sort of you know fix up your house. Sure. Um, clean it to the point where it looks like a museum. Um, and I, uh, this time around, I also did the exterior because we have quite a lot of... Um, Quite a lot of stuff around the house that needs doing, even though I rent. Um, so I got out there and I did some pretty heavy duty landscaping. Oh yeah. Um, we had like there's lots of leaves all over the driveway there. Um, so we've got a uh, leaf blower. Um, so I got out there with that and just uh, blew all the leaves into a pile, and then sucked them all up. Oh. And on the leaf blower, um, it's got a little bag. Huh. It's got a little bag on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about what it looks like. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That hadn't occurred to me. Anyway, it sucks it into there. It mulches as it goes through. Wow. And you go there and then you unzip you unzip across the uh, the bottom of the bag there and you empty it out into the rubbish bin. There's a lot of leaves. It was a, it was a huge bit of landscaping. Um, anyway, so I do the first bit, fill this bastard up, empty it out into the bin, then I'm back down there again. i got my headphones on listening to some tunes. Yeah, nice. Uh, blasting those bastards out there, and then I'm sucking up again. And this time around, though, it was a lot dustier. Um, I was down in the garage a little bit more, the carport, and this huge pile it was, but it was very dusty all of a sudden. Sure. Um, so I'm going away there for about five or 10 minutes and uh, then I think to myself geez this time it's taken a while to fill up this bag and I look around I haven't zipped the bag back up <laughs> oh right yeah so it's sucking it all in it's mulching it and just spraying it <laughs> mm. all up the other end of the driveway sure so I had to start again um, leaf dust pretty, everywhere leaf dust absolutely everywhere um, and the other thing I had to do was as part of the landscaping was pick up my dog Shizer yes and uh, I've actually trained my daughter up now um, to get her to do it. She is actually, I say, oh, today's the day you get to go and pick up the Tinker's poos. poos. And she's like, yes, yes. Uh, but the problem is she uses one bag for every half a poo. Yeah. Because she grabs it through the bag, but she just sort of clenches it and squeezes <laughs> it. Yeah, and yeah. And so just, it in. It so, squirts hey, out all over so the instead place. Instead of being able to get half a dozen poos to the one bag, um, I'm sort of having to do uh, two to the one poo. Um, but, yeah, it's a big job, isn't it? You have people over, um, and it, you're creating a lot of work for yourself, Jace. Yeah, I know. Look, funnily enough, I did a bit of landscaping too over the weekend. Um, in my lounge, got a few pot plants. You know how I got that heat pump, heat pump put I in? I do. Uh, and I think it's just drying out the pot plants. Yes. So I, there was about three or four of the bastards yep. in, my, in the lounge. I moved them into the other lounge. Yes. Uh, which is sunny, but it doesn't get affected by the heat pump as much. Yeah, and right. And I tell you what. Um, they're thriving now, Mogi. Were they those real big, like, sort of knee-high Oh, no, they're pump? like, you know, you could put your fist around them. Oh. Uh, they're just little pottles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, Jesus, I was rooted afterwards. Yeah, I tell you, there is a thing about um, landscaping, and you won't know this, Pugs, oh. um, is it does, it buggers you, but it's back-breaking work. It is. So you don't just have to have the vision um, for what the plan is with the landscape, and you've also got to be able to, um, you know, have the backbone, um, have the strength to be able to put those plans into action. Um, and not everybody can do it. Yeah, slept like a baby that night, I can tell Ooh. you. <laughs> the Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. You're welcome back here, Massive Backbones. Hope Wednesday's treating you well on this gorgeous Wednesday afternoon. You're listening to The Big Show, brought to you by Tui. Get it in you, man. Get it in you. And keep an eye yeah, for the yeah, return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep an yeah. eye for the... And keep an eye for the return of the two a year right billboards because we could all do with a laugh. You know what I'm saying, fellas? A f- 
<laughs> hey, now listen, the podcast outro is basically the warm-up to the radio show. Oh. Uh, but the good thing about the podcast outro is we've got no restrictions on us, so yeah. we can go yeah, a bit yeah, loose. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it gets a bit R18, sometimes Pugs brings in a bit of filth. Oh. It does. Um, so it's something a little bit different from the actual radio show, so make sure you go and check it out. What's the clip today there, Pugs? Uh, this is a Dilly special, obviously, and it's titled It's a Dilemma. Would you like to listen? Sure. I was relating to what you were saying, which was you're kind of clenching both ends. Yes. Where you're retching clenching. Yeah. Which which are both it's a dual activation. You know what <laughs> I mean? Is. Yeah, but so one like, almost Rrr! opens the other up. And the is that yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's not good. good. It's a dilemma. We were talking about uh Mogi uh, getting salmonella. Yes. Uh, from eating raw chicken. That's right. And he was firing at both ends. The douche. Um, and you had a bit of a situation with that as well, didn't you? Did I? What? Put me off ham for about two years. Yeah, you yeah. had to put a beach towel between your legs. A and floss action in bed there. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, covering up the old perineum. And that was on Monday. It wasn't the perineum I was covering. Yeah. The Hauraki Big Show podcast. The Big Show Big Poll today was uh, trick-or-treating, yes or no? Yeah. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? The Big Poll. Deuce, 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 deuce. How do we go, Pugsan, man? Uh, did you guys have any last-minute predictions you wanted to throw out? Uh, uh, 80% no. I'll go 60% no. Oh, yes. Trick or treating, yes or no? Yes, 19%. Oh, 81. Oh, yeah, 81. Yeah, 81. Bang 81 on, the on there, mate. Yeah, yeah, bang good, on. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, bang yeah. on there, no, mate. Quite lucky. <laughs> really good, Mogi. Yeah. <laughs> well, not bang on. I was 1%. 1%. Oh, oh, sure. I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, it's. it's it's just not our holiday, is it? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I actually genuinely would have thought it was a bit higher than that. Um, but obviously, for our sort of generation and for, you know, your 20s and 30s, it's not a big deal. I know my daughter's going to a Halloween party in the weekend. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? But I think you're right, Mogi. I think um, it's for the kiddies, isn't it? It is for the kiddies. And, but we had a text come through on 3483 and said, you know, it is, it is an interesting one because you uh, you tell kids not to take lollies from strangers and then you set your kids free to go around to, people, to strangers' houses and bang on doors. Exactly. Although these days it's changed. Obviously, you've generally got a parent or, a, or an older sibling hanging around mm. with them as well. Um but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, as I say, I'm I'm not a fan of it, and uh, fortunately for me, it's very hard to find how to get down to my house, so people get lost anyway. Also, I leave my dog outside, and she barks her ass off and scares the crap yes. out of them. So we don't tend to get um, sort of disturbed. I imagine as a young nipper, Pugsan, you would have been keen on the old Halloween, were you, and your little outfit there. I see. I think trick or treatings are yes if you're doing it responsibly, like the way you're doing it. I really like that example yeah. of checking in with the neighbours. Uh, you're even providing the stuff for them to give to your daughter there. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's probably a no. But I love Halloween as a holiday. Like I'm into. I, I like a little costume action. Right? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've pulled some absolute rippers over there. A little there bit of a costumes. cape, a big C on your chest. C Here for what? Here comes Connie Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that one of your characters? What, Get, Connie Boy? Connie Boy. <laughs> yeah, Connie Boy. And do, you yeah, have, yeah, yeah. and do you have like a big Connie on your head? <laughs> <laughs> That's your mask in that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 sort of yeah. and I've just done that every year. <laughs> and your superpower uh, is you blow it up with your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, bursts. Yeah. And it just bursts. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Oh, I've done that every year. Well, yeah, yeah, it's Connie Boy. It's getting a little small for me now, to be honest. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the people have spoken, fellas, and it's absolutely definitive. Uh, 80 to 20 nay for trick-or-treating. Yes. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Kesey. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue? Hey, hey, Mogi. Hey, Mogi. hey uh, I watched a movie last night. Fall Guy. Fall Guy. It's got Ryan Gosling in it. It's got Emily Blunt in it. 
and uh, it's uh, he's a stunt man. Stunt, yes, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like a camera assistant and becomes a director. And as he sort of gets injured, and then for some reason that's not really clear and doesn't make any sense at all, he stops answering her phone calls while she's trying to help him out uh, to get better because they're seeing each other. Mm. So and then they don't see each other for a year, and then they're reunited on the set of where she's the director, and uh, and also at the same time the star of the film has completely disappeared. And the producer of the film, for some reason, charges the stunt guy, Ryan Gosling, mm. with finding him. Um, it's not very good. Ah. Okay. Two very hot lead characters. Great right? leads yeah. and oh, great chemistry. Leads. Great mm. chemistry and good action and good ideas for comedy and all that sort of thing. It's just It feels like it was trying to do a hell of a lot. Sure. Right. And could have do, <laughs> been doing a lot less and been more enjoyable. Yeah. Um, but you're just sort of sitting there going, uh, yeah. I mean, there, there will be – it's fun. It's certainly doing lots okay. of things. It's very busy. Very what, busy. What was that on, Mogi? I think it was on – uh, Apple. I think I might have rented it on Apple. Yeah. Okay. Now I meant to tell you, I watched Brothers the other night, the one with Josh uh, Brolin. Josh oh, Brolin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And English. the orangutan scene. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and to be clear, it's a significantly bigger monkey than an orangutan. Yeah. I don't know what the hell it was. Um, <laughs> was so very funny. <laughs> it was. And his it was. his reaction to it was so good. I was pissing myself yeah. laughing. I actually, I quite enjoyed that film overall. I right. mean, that scene, of course, as as you mentioned, is very, very <laughs> funny. Um, but uh, the whole thing, yeah, it was, you know, an easy watch. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I haven't finished it. I should go back to it. Yeah. Um, but it was very much, considering the cast, yes, should have been a lot funnier. Sure. And it was a real shame, I thought. But, um, um, as you say, chuck it on. 90, yeah, it's 90 wor- minutes long. It's worth watching. Yeah, oh. it is. I mean, Dinklage, you know, uh, he's, you know, there's some funny stuff in there for sure. Right. Yeah. Um, I watched a movie which I watched not long ago called Crazy Heart. Oh, oh with um, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff yeah, Bridges. Uh, who, he won the Academy Award for that, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, he's, I mean, I'm a massive fan of him as an actor anyway, but he plays. The degenerate, down-and-out dudes yeah. so very well. Mm. Um, and it's basically the story of a country and western singer who used to be called Bad Blake, who used to be really massive and now has just gone right downhill yeah. and he's just playing dive bars all over the place. He's a massive alcoholic. Uh, there's a lot, you know, and he's, he can barely get through a gig. He's depressed about his career. There's a young buck who used to work with him who's now a sensational superstar and he's just this sort of degenerate sort of losing the plot yes. kind of thing. He falls in love. It's actually a very sweet story and the ending is not what you expect it to be. Yeah. Can I put it this way? He doesn't get what he wants. He gets what he needs. Oh, sure, nice. that's nice. Yeah, that's really okay. Nice. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's 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 an enjoyable watch, and I knew I, I remember watching it quite a while back and thinking I'm just going to watch it again because it's a bloody great performance. What yeah. did you watch that on? Prime, I think. Okay, Prime Video. Yeah, uh, yep. Maggie Gill- Gyllenhaal is also on there. Yes, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress and lost. Uh, How do you uh, feel about her? Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah, she's great, very good. Great uh, actor. Very good. Um, and nice Jeff Bridges <laughs> won Best Actor. It also won Best Original Song and Best Achievement in Music. T Bone Burnett, uh, the famous country and western singer, uh, he wrote all the music for it. And Jeff Bridges actually <coughs> does do the singing. He does, and, and he's very, very good. Yeah. He's yeah. genuinely good. Great stuff. The Hauraki Big Show weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Now you and I, uh, Mogi, we love our hunting and fishing, don't oh, we, yeah. mate? Um, and one of the things. I love about it the most is getting wild game and food on the dinner table. Yeah. You know, I'm not the sort of guy that likes to go to the supermarket and buy beef and chicken and stuff like that. I prefer to catch it myself. The supermarket. The supermarket. I prefer to catch it myself rather than have your sort of pre-packaged sticky beef oh, yeah, and all that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Chicken nuggets uh, and stuff like that. Those yeah, days. I mean, <laughs> I don't go there. I like wild food. And if you're into that as well, 
then you're going to absolutely love the Wild Food Festival, eh, Pugs? Oh, absolutely. That's happening in Hokitika uh, on the 8th of March, which is not a significant date. Uh, it's going to be a massive weekend, and we've got the chance to have a couple of people join us as we go along there, uh, and they could win flights, accommodation, tickets for them, and a mate, uh, and the big show will be spending the weekend there. Yeah, great stuff. Quite genuinely, actually. I've always been interested in that, so I'm looking forward to doing it. It'll be great. As mm. am I, as am I. It's a uh, little bit out of the way, but worth the journey from all accounts. We've been running for a bloody long time. It has. Um, but, yeah, I love going down there, and uh, like if you get out with your shoddy, Yes. And uh, take out a few oysters, a couple of mussels and that sort of thing. They're sitting ducks, those bastards. Like down there at the Wild Foods Festival. Well, you don't have to shoddy. do it down there. You don't oh, have to shoot okay, the stalls. Do... Oh, okay. But when I go out shooting, that's generally what I do. Have you ever had hoo-hoo grubs? I have had a hoo-hoo. Yeah, I've had quite a few in my time. It's a real burst of uh, flavour oh. and uh, yeah. Pe- peanut buttery is how I'd describe it them. Peanut, like buttery. peanut butter. Yep, you just you're break sp- open the log there, a big hoo-hoo grub, sh- shove it in the gob. Spread one of those bastards on a piece of toast, a little bit of butter, uh, pug a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of cracked, cracked pepper, pepper. and then give it to someone else because it's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do people have to do again to be involved in that, pug So if people just want to go to the Foods Festival, they can go to wildfoods.co.nz, get some tickets to that. Or if you want to enter our comp to come along and join the big show, hauraki.co.nz. Eyes to the front, Jace. Come on, man. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Kesey. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. That's your Wednesday show done and dusted. We got over hump day. What are the plans tonight, Mogi? Um, I might go to the gym. I might go to the gym now. A little bit of sauna action, a little bit of gym action. I am feeling a little bit down on energy, but that's probably still a result of the weekend. Sure. I would say. So I'll see how I'm feeling on Friday, but Jesus, sapped of energy, mate. Yeah, sapped. yeah. I, I find uh, first day after a big weekend, not great. Mm. Second day, kind of tired. Mm. Third day, grumpy. Oh, ah. yeah. yeah, because all the all the stuff's leached out of your system and it's craving some more. Pucks yeah, out. right. So you're going to be a little grumpy tomorrow? Is that what you? No, I'm good as gold, oh, mate. Okay, right. I'm, I'm tickety boo. Yes, yeah, sweet. Uh, what are your plans tonight? A bit of sticky bee, chicken, uh, chicken, sticky chicken. Sticky what are you bee doing? Chicken. Uh, yeah, man. No, I think I'm just going to. Take it easy. I forgot to defrost anything again tonight. Oh, so, for God's sake. Know, it's, a real, it's a real shame. But uh, I'll figure something out. Maybe some beef. I think I'm feeling beef. Got anyone coming over tonight, Pugs, or anything? Uh, no, nah, man. I'm just going to chill. Maybe, maybe play a few of, visitors. Uh, uh, I'm probably just going to chill and maybe watch some old... of the beer and play some oh, PlayStation yeah, 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 and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. Real Good chill night for so me. So to break out the Connies or anything like that. Oh, I might break out the Connies. All oh, right. Good yeah. stuff. How about what yourself, Jace? Tonight, just chilling, actually. Just going to take it easy. Try and find a film. Argue with my wife about watch to what, uh, what to watch. Yes. Um, eat some food. I've already been to the gym, so I don't need to do the gym. Yeah, good. good yeah, 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 Mind yeah, you, I yeah, could yeah. go a second time, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, listen. <laughs> thanks for your company this afternoon. Make sure you check out the podcast. Also, check out our Instagram account. Till tomorrow. See you later.